A church riddled with bullets. A pastor believes over a dozen rounds hit his church up in Conroe. And tonight, the person responsible for pulling the trigger is still on the run. Those bullet holes were discovered at the Hopewell Community Church. That's on Avenue F in Booker T, Washington. KPRC 2's Mario Diaz spoke with the church's pastor. He actually made that discovery. He's live tonight at the church. So Mario, was anyone inside when it happened? Uh, Chris, the church appears to have an angel on their side on that front as there was no one inside once this church was hit not only once but over the course of two evenings this past weekend. Authorities say late this afternoon there appears to be a twist in this case. However, the pastor remains perplexed over the bullet holes that struck his building. I forgive you for what you did. But you need to turn yourself in. This is the message from Pastor Milton Taylor. And the bullet hit right here in, in the ceiling tile. After his Hopewell Community Church in Conroe was littered with bullets over the weekend. We came in Saturday morning to meet and we seen that we had one bullet hole through the church. Conroe PD came out to investigate chalking that hole to a stray bullet according to Taylor. But then Sunday morning, I think it was about 12 or 15 bullets that actually went through the church. Piercing through walls where members pray every weekend and where children attend Sunday school. It, it hurt. This is not the work of God. Detectives with Conroe PD were back out this afternoon and in a press release shortly before 4 p.m. announced that statements and evidence show a neighboring property was the intended target on back to back nights not Hopewell Church. That's the scary part, that it didn't just happen one night, but it happened two nights. Pastor Taylor's wife, Daisy, says they did have divine intervention in terms of timing. If someone had been inside the church, it would have been devastating, but we thank God that no one was here. Yeah, scary times indeed for the pastor and his wife up here. They still remain skeptical. As you heard, Conroe PD says the investigation is ongoing. Um, however, in addition to that, the pastor tells me he plans on beefing up security at his church this week until an arrest is made. Live in Conroe, Mauro Diaz, KPRC2 Investigate.